from Madeline Country Cottage. I'm back with you again today to show you two more of my journals. Um, thank you for those who have purchased them so far and I hope you enjoy using them. So we'll get straight into it. A beautiful image with pansies on the front, washi tape reinforcement and of course the back and lots of stitching around the edges. Straight inside we have a tag, lots of stitching and layering with a beautiful image uh, from the magazine. A little pocket, beautiful page out of the magazine with lovely floral arrangement. Uh, we have a little tip, little tippy page with little tuck spots, collaging. This image here was uh, I've actually uh, printed that off a vintage box I bought about 10 years ago I've muted the colors down thought it was fitting for this journal and a few other of the journals and just a little tab here page out of the magazine tea dyed paper um, some fabric here that is not vintage, it's actually a newer fabric, but I thought it was fitting for um, the floral that was on the front of the um, front of the journal. Some more of that uh, vintage pa type page. A tag that I made with some layering, lots of stitching. Um, thought that was really beautiful, that image. Little pocket and vintage lace, a postcard, some ephemera, vintage pocket and there's actually a little page at the back here which is tracing paper. I printed it with that lovely um, page that's at the front, the designer page which is this one here. Uh, image from the magazine, music paper, a little pocket with some stitching little tag popping out of it. A ledger paper with a little pocket. Some more of the images from the magazine. Journaling page. Gardening, a vintage gardening page. Tea dyed page. And of course the centre with the card. Some collage on the front. So, some ephemera in the side here. more ephemera, beautiful image from the magazine, ledger paper and that beautiful scripted writing from that ledger paper and this little uh, muslin piece here I dyed that with um, purple carrot comes up the most beautiful pale purple colour gorgeous the other side of that image and of course the the pocket with some fabric a little flip page so that you can journal some more scripted writing. Now this little clip here I made with millinery flower. It's a petal, um, a, a velvet petal. I thought it was quite cute. Um, a little tag that I made out of the um, pages from the magazine. A little fabric tip in. Gorgeous fabric. I love this. Very very botanical ephemera vin uh, rusty clip a little fabric tip in with a little tiny little tiny book the image came out of that magazine really sweet and at the back here we still got the quarter paint I love the names of them so beautiful uh, morning light Angel Shoes, Dusky dusky Lilac and Aubergine. So, so beautiful, the colours. Um, little pocket, the tag and of course there's a little tip in here too with some layering of the different fabrics and a tiny little book inside here which is to, to hide away something that you, you don't want other people to see. So that's that one. And we move on to the other and we have this beautiful um, 
beautiful cover here. I think it's a back part of a shoe or perhaps a ballet shoe. I thought it was it's quite nice. I like I like the color colorway of this. Of course, the silky washi tape and the stitching around the edges. And we have a pocket inside once again. Another tag that I've added um, the image, some stitching and a bit of layering. Some magazine paper. I love this image here of the sewing. I thought it seemed fitting with in with the um, this particular journal and or with all the journals really because there's quite bits of stitching and, and so forth inside. Tuck and another tuck. Designer paper and an image from the magazine which can be turned around and used on the back and it's got some vintage fabric here we've got the porter paints again the type typo vintage paper another tag I thought this one I just wanted to do something a little bit simpler on this one and of course I forgot I cut out the back of this because I love the image that was on the back so I put a bit of vellum in there so you can just slightly see the lace on inside I don't know if you can sort of see that yeah it's just a little hidey hole and of course the postcard again the ephemera the little swing tag and that beautiful paper that I've printed off music paper and some more images out of the magazine the ledger paper 1920s of course and another image from the the magazine the typo text out of the vintage book and the tea dye um paper which i've already i printed from the front cover of a, a music book a little pocket here and I've actually put in a little tag I tried you know using the tracing paper because I wanted to mute out that blue because I thought it was a little bit too strong and so I just popped it inside and plus I liked both of the images on both sides so that can be used for something I guess and back again to that type of text more of the image and again a little seam binding tab ephemera a little flip out page again the text oh look I'll, I'll open one of these up I don't think I've actually opened it it's just like a, a little t text now you can cut that up and use it throughout the book or you can just leave it as is um, where are we? Okay, some more images. Again, the tea bag tab. Fabric tip in with some lace. Tea dyed paper. A rusty clip ephemera. A little fabric tip in placed a journal. And of course, at the back. Again, another place to journal with a little fabric tip in with lace, um, lace that I've laid there, and of course my logo. So I hope you enjoyed look, this uh, flip through of these journals. Um, they will be listed soon on the website uh, for sale. Um, I would like to thank the people that have already or the ladies already that have purchased my journals thank you for your support and I really really appreciate it and if you would like to see more of my journals uh, subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the journals and in my next video I think I might do a giveaway and so stay tuned and I'll let you know about that. And I'd like to say thanks for watching and goodbye. Bye.